If you were uh, up late last night, chances are you were watching what was going on at the Kodak Theater, where Slumdog Millionaire cashed in at the Oscars, but that wasn't the only winner. Jill Dobson is a winner because she gets to get up really early yes. and join us from Tinseltown <laughs> with a look at the highs and the lows. Good morning to you, Jill. That's right. Yeah, good morning. I think the last time I slept was on Wednesday, but it was worth it. We were here for all the exciting <laughs> moments. And I've got a guest here with me, Tom O'Neill from the Envelope.com, no LA Times website. So, <laughs> Tom, what were some of the exciting, you were backstage, I was on the red carpet, so I had some great moments. What was going on backstage that we don't know about? Well, there was a lot of grumbling from the actual Academy members. This was the first time they didn't get to see dress rehearsals. That's how hushed up this show was. They kept it very secret out on the red carpet. My favorite moment was interviewing the kids from Slumdog Millionaire. You know, these kids are so poised, so talented, and so beautiful. It was just wonderful talking to them. And they said they were very excited to see Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. And I asked one of the little boys, why do you like Angelina? And he was just speechless. It was the only moment those kids weren't ready with the perfect answer. Uh, also, the big show, the big awards. Which awards were you keeping an eye on? I understand the Best Actor race was uh, the one you were following closely. Yeah, that was a real, real heavyweight bout between uh, Mickey Rourke and Sean Penn because they split up those earlier awards. And by the way, we're here at the Hollywood Museum just a block away from the Kodak Theater. We have Mickey Rourke's outfit here from The Wrestler. And you can actually see that we got, it's got the bloodstains here <laughs> that you can zoom up on close. We're standing right in front of the reader. And I think that was the other highlight of the show. Kate Winslet had lost five times before this. If she had lost one more time, she would have tied the record as the biggest losing actress ever. Great, and there we are taking a look at the Mickey Rourke outfit, and we have so much more all morning long, and we also at foxnews.com slash red carpet rewind, we have all our best red carpet moments, so check that out, and uh, we'll be talking much more this morning with you guys, giving you all the latest Oscar scoop. Hey Jill, where's the Hollywood Museum? That place looks cool. How much does it cost to get in? Can I use Tom O'Neill's name? <laughs> yeah, Tom, you're a curator. They say, can they use your name to get in here for free and check out all the, the Hannibal Lecter display I don't know who's downstairs? Steve or Brian, I don't know. It's Steve Ducey, I think. Okay, it sounds like Steve. Steve. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's all me. right, for Steve, yes. For Brian, not so much. <laughs> all right, Tom and Jill, thank you very much. Uh, you know what? It's 3:36 out there right now. I, right. They're a little. You knock giddy. on the door. You're, they're going to let you in for free. <laughs> That's or, or arrest you. That's what are you right. doing here? No one wants to go to a museum in the middle of the night. I'm here looking at uh, Mickey Rourke's uh, bloody shorts. Show me Dobson, and you don't get in. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think it, I think it's a great pay thing the that they get so a great Steve education. <laughs> I don't think they should pay athletes. Yeah, I don't either. All right. Uh, however, you They're should pay uh, guys who can really <laughs> act uh, and win awards. And they gave out a bunch of them last night. Jill Dobson, I don't think she's gotten a wink of sleep. And she joins us right now from Hollywood. <laughs> hey, Jill. That's right. That's right. No sleep since Wednesday. But, you know, we're here at the Hollywood Museum looking at some of the costumes. These are from High School Musical and talking about what's fashionable to wear in Hollywood. And, of course, the biggest runway of all was the red carpet last night at the Oscars. Kate Winslet wore the trend of the night, an asymmetrical neckline. We also saw pale colors on everyone from Marissa Tomei to Penelope Cruz. <laughs> Understated elegance was the theme of the night as Hollywood's A-listers lit up the red carpet at the 81st Annual Academy Awards. The um, tuxedo is made out of water-resistant rubber wear. It's a little warm, but I'm enjoying it. No, I don't know where. I, I, I think this was made for me for a, a, some movie or something, but it's, uh, it fits. And then there's Mickey Rourke. John Paul Gaultier in my corner. Hmm. <laughs> I love Mickey Rourke and Fred Willard. It's so funny. Of course, all our red carpet interviews are on foxnews.com slash red carpet rewind, so you can check out much more there. Back Biggest to attitude on the carpet, Jill. Biggest attitude on the carpet. Tell me who it is. Biggest mistake? Biggest attitude. Is that it, it, the biggest attitude? Biggest oh, chip biggest on their shoulder. Attitude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, uh, Sean Penn never talks to me on the red carpet, and uh, I didn't see him giving many interviews last night, but I thought it was funny. He actually said in his speech that, you know, he, he makes it hard for people to appreciate him. So I'll give him that award. All right. Yeah. Congratulations. All right. I don't think many people disagree with you on that. <laughs> All Thank right. You. Thanks a lot, Jill.
You're watching Eyewitness News in high definition. Well, you know it's all going to get done, but still, always, there's a mad dash to put the finishing touches on the Kodak Theater and have that red carpet just perfect out I'm front always of it. amazed it gets done. I know. I know they will, but it's surprising. Hollywood Boulevard, of course, is closed to traffic. You can't drive down the road, but you can walk down on either side of the street and get a sense of the production involved in this work. It's, it is pretty impressive. They've got quite a setup down here. Now, even if you can't see it firsthand, you know, by walking through it, you can, of course, see it Oscar Sunday night on ABC 7 and in and around town you can also get a feel for all the hoopla around this big event there are a lot of different displays set up through town uh, at the Staples Center across from the Staples Center at the Hollywood Museum they've got some costumes from some of the big movies on display for you to see in Universal City they've also got some of the costumes like from Frost Nixon and Milk on display and we mentioned the Hollywood Museum some of the costumes on display down there will be Benjamin Button uh, costumes from the reader, also costumes from High School Musical 3. This exhibit is uh, really special because you get to see, you know, the blueprints of the costumes, how they were developed, um, how the actors had to wear them, and uh, how they look up close. We're live in Hollywood. John Gregory, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right. John, thank you. This is the Fox 11 News at noon. Well, let's get to it then. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm G. Martirez. I'm Tony McEwing. Here's what's happening. After an epic battle, California lawmakers finally settle on a budget. <laughs> finally today, now you can see the actual costumes used in some of this year's biggest movies. These are clothing worn by the cast of High School Musical 3, senior year. It's part of a new exhibit at the Hollywood Museum in the old Max Factor building on Highland, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Other costumes on display, Mickey Rourke's wrestling tights from The Wrestler and costumes from The Reader. Also new in this collection, Meryl Streep's habit from Doubt, along with the jacket Brad Pitt wore in The Curious Case. That's perfect at the Button. Max Factor Revlon building, because yeah. it's just catty corner from Hollywood and Highland, the Kodak Theater. Perfect. That's going to do it for us today. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back here tomorrow. Have a safe day out here. Have a good one, we'll guys. Anyway, <laughs> last night the Hollywood Museum held the And the Winner Is Awards exhibit reception. Many of the costumes from this year's Hollywood movies were on display. Meryl Streep's outfit that uh, she wore in doubt, let's see, was there <laughs> along with Brad Pitt's jacket that he wore in the curious case of Benjamin Button. Now, other costumes on display were Mickey Rourke's wrestling tights from huh. The Wrestler right. and costumes from That's The really Reader right. and High School Musical 3, Senior Year. You're watching KMPH Fox 26. And now, the Valley's morning news and entertainment program, created just for you. This is Great Day. And the Academy Awards just a couple of days away. And last night, some lucky folks got a glimpse not at the stars, but at their costumes instead. Check this out. The Hollywood Museum held the And the Winner Is reception. It featured many of the costumes from this year's nominees. They include Meryl Streep's outfit from Doubt, along with Brad Pitt's jacket that he wore in the curious case of Benjamin Button. Other costumes on display also include Mickey Rourke's rustling tights from The Wrestler and costumes from The Reader and High School Musical 3, senior year. We're going to continue to monitor the news for you this morning. Turning it over to Kopi now with a look at the weather with Amgen on the mind. I forgot Academy Awards are just a couple days away. Yeah, you go uh, Academy, Amgen, you know, they're Amgen all in the category. You know? yeah. Awesome. Good. Yeah, we'll get ready for that one. Another, another contest.